morning, Cory Cubs. Today on broadcast, we have a special guest. Her name is Peyton, and she's the only person that guessed for our picture last week. Hey, Peyton, do you like pizza? I love pizza. I really hope we're having it to, for lunch today. Hey, Peyton, I heard you like pizza. I love pizza. But I also heard that we're having the chicken fried steak sandwich. We are, and we'll also be having the size tater tots with baked beans, marinara, pickles, pineapple tidbits, or fruit juice. And for Monday's breakfast, we'll be having breakfast pizza, or cereal and toast, applesauce cup, or fruit juice. And now back to the rest of the announcements. I've been noticing that it's getting cold out, and I still haven't bought my winter jacket yet. Well, I guess you should go buy your coat now, because okay. the high will be 55, will be 54, and it'll be partly cloudy. Now back to the rest of the announcements. What sports do you like? Um, I like gymnastics. I like volleyball. I like gymnastics too. I like softball. Good morning everyone. In gymnastics, the World Championships just ended and Nicole Biles won six awards or medals. Four of them were gold, two of them were silver, and one was bronze. And tonight in basketball, the Dallas Mavericks will play Oklahoma. We're on sports tomorrow. American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us in the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for the moment of Welcome back to Game On! Our trivia this, this week is Miss Rebeck and Miss Evans, and their game is the time to throw a ring onto the phone in under a minute. Do we have the time ready? Tuesdays and Thursdays starting November 6th. We will be selling a variety of items including mystery smensels where you can complete the challenge to figure out the smell. Also num noms which are fun erasers. Smensels and other items start at a dollar, two, two dollars, and three dollars. 
Come see us. Hey, Dr. Varnell, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, Miss Ledesma. How are you? I'm doing good. Miss well, Le Ledesma, I got to tell you, when you said you wanted me to come and help you, I, I always want to help you, but I'm not sure what this is about. Okay. Well, we're going to have book fair pretty soon. Yeah, I know about book fair. Okay. Well, Scholastic, who does our book fairs, has a nonprofit organization called All for Books, which we have right here on this little box. Oh, okay, cool. And what All for Books does is they um, match donations that schools get at their book fairs to give money to schools that are in need. For example, we've had some hurricanes in the last few months, and Texas has had some devastating losses in the libraries. So All for Books has come in and they have retrofitted the libraries and given them all new books. So Ms. Ledesma, make, let me make sure I understand. So if we collect donations, mm -hmm. then the All for Books Foundation will match them. And what they do is they spend that money to buy books for kids who don't have books? Yep, exactly. Wow, what a cool deal. I know. But the good thing is, all the donations that we get in here, we get to keep, and we then get to choose our, uh, well, who do we want to buy books for? And so one of the things that's happened over time here at Corey is the Arlington Education Foundation has given us at least two grants, maybe more that I don't know about, to buy books for Corey. We bought books about dance, about art, biographies about famous people that we're studying in class. Uh-huh. And so I decided that since they've been so giving for us, that I would like 